Welcome, welcome, welcome to part 15 of our Fire Emblem playthrough. I am your host. I'll turn my volume up a little bit. I am your host and player, Timothy Harper, and we are currently nose deep into the Blue Lion story. We just came back from the fiery depths and we're going after Edelgard, and we'll see how we can do. It will be interesting, to say the least. Ah, part 15. We're almost getting through, almost done with the Blue Lion story. And then we'll do Golden Eagle. And then we'll do the Red, or the Black Eagles. Connecting. We'll do all the missions at the end. Alright, let me get familiar. Who only has their certifications? He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Sylvain still needs his. wants to be what? A bow, a bow knight. So we need to get his uh, bow up higher. She's good. She's good. She's good. 48. I'm not exactly happy with that. I don't care about you playing. We gotta work on him. Hanneman. Manuela's gotta work on her. Gilbert, Gilbert could take his. But he, I'm not happy with him either. Catherine, gotta work on her. And uh, Shamir's got hers at Master. Alright, let's explore. start this off. House Fraldarius is a military house. They swore fealty to the royal family at the kingdom's founding. The current family head, Lord Rodrigue, was raised like a brother to the former king. He harbors a loyalty that goes beyond mere duty. 
Perhaps this is why he was willing to lend us his aid. I have a request. I have a request. I have a request. I have a request. Well, since we're here. Dimitri, you're still sulking, aren't you? If you stand in my way, I will strike you down. Well. Still bitching, huh? Need something? This one? This one? You're all set. See you again soon. I fear falling asleep at night. I worry that I will not awaken for many years. When I do, I will have to move. sacrifice in service of House Row. I understand that feeling. I'd do anything for Lady Rhea. But... You think we should have stopped him. You might be right about that. At any rate, it's up to the individual how to demonstrate loyalty. That is true. I'll give you that. Sylvain! Maybe. I had an encounter with Lord Gwendol. How many years ago was it? Back before the Academy, I met this girl who I fell madly in love with. And her dad tried to kill me. I suppose he just tried to scare me. But I was sure I was gonna die. Oh yeah, her dad? Lord Gwendol. Crazy, right? I never thought I'd seriously be trying to kill the guy in battle. I kind of don't know how to make sense of it. Welcome to war, kids! brings back all manner of memories. The days I spent studying here with you and everyone else. Those days were so special to me. They were truly some of the warmest days of my life. I hold them dear in my heart. And now, to be forced to fight with those I was once so close to, my friends, it is most saddening. Even after all these decades, the Academy hasn't changed a bit. I remember it well, even now. I used to sneak out of lectures with Lambert almost every day. I suppose this is not the time for an old man's nostalgia. We have received approval from House Regan. We should set out as soon as you're ready. Well, that's good. <sighs> Just like House Fraldarius, House Galatea is currently being invaded by the dukedom. My family is not as wealthy as most others, so we are incapable of sparing resources or reinforcements. I'm sorry. It's just so frustrating not being able to do anything to help. in my uncle's hands? What is the old man thinking? I always knew my father was mad, but this time he's gone too far. I agree. My uncle is a reliable man, but still, only a fool would abandon his own territory. Not exactly true, but I see your point. So, House Regan accepted. I knew the leader of the Alliance wouldn't refuse. Still, we can't let our guard down. There's no telling when he'll turn on us. If we advance through the Alliance into the Empire, our chances for reconnaissance will be limited. I just hope it goes according to plan. I have a feeling it won't. Right, right. Mercedes, oh, my love. Yes, it looks like we're all set with food supplies, thanks to Lord Rodrigue. 
We have more soldiers to feed now, so we'll still need to ration. But I think we have enough extra to make some tasty treats. I'll go scout the you. pantry. Well, we can enjoy it together over some tea. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I agree. <laughs> Young Ash. Anyway, the area around Castle Gaspar, where I was living, is under the control of House Roe, who have submitted to the Empire. If I hadn't come to Garrig Mach, I might have ended up as your enemy at ALL. That thought makes me really happy to be here now. I don't think I would have been able to handle facing all of you in battle. Let's do a talk to our two professors. Professor? Oh, hello there, Professor. Did you need something from me? It doesn't look like you're wounded or anything. You just looking for someone to talk to? I thought so. Well, I'm here for you. Making you feel better is my top priority. Whether it's physical pain or worries of the heart, you can come to me for anything, Professor. Interesting. Well, then. The battle at ALL was a tactical marvel. You grow stronger with each passing day. Where does your talent end and your crest's power begin? Are they one and the same, I wonder? Most intriguing. Yet, it is quite difficult to draw useful hmm. conclusions, given the situation. It is quite unfortunate I did not achieve my research goals before the war broke out. So much unknown. Now, I fear I will not have those answers even by conflict's end. So very frustrating. Could be worse, Hanneman. Could be worse. You could be dead. Da, 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 da. Oh. Next, we face the Great Bridge of Murden. We actually crossed it a long time ago. Do you remember? It was five whole years ago. During the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? It seems like so long ago, doesn't it? It's odd how fast time flies. It's so true. Everyone was still friends. Like we're on part 15. How did that happen? Fighting, we all ate together without so splitting into shocking. our separate houses. I often wish we could go back to those peaceful days. Well. I often... So, the renowned Shield of Fargus is now on our side. That is quite reassuring. Not only will he provide valuable support in battle, but he has also brought us much needed supplies. We cannot grow complacent, however. We must take the Imperial capital as soon as possible. Except for Gilbert and Shamir, by the way. He needs Dimitri. Uh, Felix needs Mercedes, so we'll try to get those two together. I forgot to do the greenhouse. How silly of me. Professor. Uh, maybe.
Better just save our money. Good eye. A pleasure. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing. Come again. Hello there. Return soon, please. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> I can't do Felix and Mercedes, which I can't believe I can't. Who's Ash need? Ash needs that and Ingrid and Gilbert. After the fight. That sounds like fun. Looks still I'm happy to eat alone. I know. Let's have. Flavor. This it. Like... 
needs advanced drills. It's so vain. That reminds me. Hmm. I had it back before. I said crazy. I kind of. Oh, this is for me. <laughs> Do some singing with I hope this not sure I should sing with everyone. First up is Sylvain and your bow. What? Next up, Seton. That was... That... That... Professor, I haven't been able to see my brother and sister lately, so I'm sending them gifts to him. I just not want to ask for any of them. I don't know what to give him. Ah, oh, I see it now.
Let's go. Got a letter from Rev. We gotta do it. The Rose Colored River. Ooh. Professor, so this is where you were. I have something I would like to show you. I found this in Lady Rhea's room. It seems to be a letter addressed to you. Did you enter the room on your own? I admit some guilt to the action. However, I hoped Lady Rhea had left something behind. I have not read the contents of the letter. If you do not object, could we read it together? Dear child, I have little time and so I will keep this brief. I asked you to take care of things should something happen, but I wish to make myself useful as well. I left a treasure at the holy tomb. Please take it. However, note that I set a bit of a trap to prevent thieves from stealing it. Please take ample precautions so that you are not harmed when you retrieve it. May Sothis protect you. Rhea. Ooh, treasure. Her handwriting is a mess. It is likely she wrote this letter five years ago, just before the battle. If Lady Rhea says it's a treasure, then I've no doubt it would be useful to us. If you plan to retrieve it, I will accompany you. What is your plan, Professor? To begin the battle! For the However, it says that Lady Rhea laid some manner of trap in the Holy Tomb. Just to be safe, I'd like to request someone else accompany us. We don't know what dangers await. Very true. I agree. I agree with you, Gilbert. That's a smart move. Gonna do lots and lots of battles. Dun, 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 dun. We got, oh, well, hello. A bit of a trap is an understatement. All right, that's the case. Something is wrong. Do not let your guard down. Phantoms? And some are giving commands. Remove them from the battlefield immediately. I'll cut through. You fought well. my strategy I'd be honored I'll comply Don't strike. <laughs> too weak for this world they said at your service what's the plan Don't bother haunting me. I expect no less. I've got you! Hmm. 
I must steal myself. Knew you could do it. Guide me well. Won't allow it. Ready when you are. There's no stopping me. I'm your girl. Two come. Beasts. Locate their puppet masters and eliminate them. One of us had to die. to remember. I can't lose. It's my duty. Great work.
Next try. This could turn the tides. All talk and no action. Jeez, level 37? My Reprieve. One to remember. Take a break. Yeah. 
Thanks. depend on you. One down. Target the remaining commanders. them all. There's no stopping me. Ready when you are. I'd be honored. Cut through. Nice rest, Felix. You did great.
crush them all. Really? My orders? There's no stopping me. I'd be honored. It was the only way. The puppets still move, but they appear weaker. Destroying them should be easier now. Not finished yet. At your service. Thanks so much. I'm your girl. I'll comply. Ready when you are. Mercedes, yeah. It seems all is safe. Here. So this is Lady Rhea's treasure. External guardian. I never thought a holy tomb would have a trap such as that. Had we not been prepared, yet if Lady Rhea laid that trap, then what kind of person is she? A genius, maybe? Perhaps you should go save Lady Rhea and ask her directly. Whatever the truth, still this treasure has been recovered. I do not know how much history is attached to this item, but it is an amazing artifact. It is possible this weapon once engraved its name in the history of the Church of Seros. This is your responsibility, imparted to you by Lady Rhea. You must decide how best to make use of it. I will be going now. I must prepare for our next battle. Seros Shield. My... Hmm. Doing battle with them all. Do 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 do. Be honored. 
In the name of justice! I'm still here. I'll cut through. I'll crush them all. My orders? I'll comply. What's the plan? Ready when you are. You took me lightly. I'm your girl. It had to be done. I can't stop now. What's my strategy? At your service. I had to protect my friends. Oh, they took out Mercedes. We got our magicians. Smart. Was the only way.
You took me lightly. It was the only way. I must steal myself. Hmm. Battle in the desert. Crush them all. Stay down. What's the plan? What's my strategy? At your service. I'll comply. I'd be honored. I'm your girl. Ready when you are. I'll cut through. going to plan. Watch that one.
<laughs> it's a lovely day in the fire emblem world. It's the fire emblem world. Really enjoying this game. Crap, I didn't even see what his goals were. Oh well. <laughs> Look at our excellent results. Still a long way to go. I always was. some cooking. Turn soon, please. Hey, welcome. You have a good eye. You have a good eye. A pleasure. You have a good eye. A pleasure. Come again. Oh. 
Let's watch how many supports. Still contemplating, I see. Without so much as a word, you read me through and through. Since last we spoke, I've been thinking a lot about my future. How I want to spend my life. It's a lot to think about, and I haven't entirely sorted out where I'm going. I think I need more time to grow. On the contrary, you have given this honest and sincere thought. I am quite impressed, actually. You're impressed with me? Worry about the future is not unique to youth. It is human nature. At the risk of being overbearing, might I offer you one more piece of advice? Of course. Have you considered what your life would be like had you not been born with a crest? Hmm. Do you suppose that you would have been ordinary? Insignificant? I do not think so. Even without a crest, such a promising young lady as yourself would have a bright future ahead of her. Said. I... I am not typically inclined to flattery, so I hope you will take my words to heart. Have faith in yourself. If you trade that faith for a misplaced pride in your crest, I will have to reassess your character. I've no intention of doing such a thing. It will take me time and experience, mm. but I will find my path and walk it proudly. I am glad to hear it, Ingrid. Yay! Let's actually watch some of these. Ooh, Gilbert! something the matter? Your heart does not seem to be in your training today. I'm sorry. Something's been bothering me. Idle thoughts do hinder training. Tell me what bothers you. You were sworn to protect the royal family, but when we met five years ago, you weren't in the kingdom capital. You were in Garrig Mach. What could have made a great knight like you abandon his vow? That is difficult to explain. You are aware of the tragedy of Dusker? When the king's party was massacred nine years ago. I am. It affected me, too. My brother was suspected of being involved in the attack. And so the church... They... Forgive me. It must be a difficult memory. Why are you apologizing? It's not your fault. I disagree. Had I been by his majesty's side on that day where I was sworn to be, perhaps his majesty would not have lost his life. And all would be different. Is that why you left, Vargas? Yes. You may laugh. But I feel I was responsible No, you weren't, for Gilbert. Everything. Don't do that. I would never laugh at something like that. But I, I do think you should have seen things through to the end. Even if you had to endure dishonor for a while, you could have restored your name. Uh, I'm sorry. That wasn't considerate of me. I got carried away by how much your situation resembles my own. You were adopted by Lord Lonato, correct? I once told you that I wish to protect one thing other than my king, and that is my family. My wife and my daughter, both of whom I left behind in the kingdom. Lord Lonato took up his sword for his son. Even if that meant turning his back on the goddess as a father, I cannot condemn Lord Lonato for raising an army. Yet, perhaps he too lost sight of what should be protected, just as I did. I don't understand what you mean. What should Lenato have protected? You, Ash. Because you are also his son. <sighs> You're right. I think I know what I need to protect now. It's been staring me in the face all this time. I don't know why I couldn't see it. I'm Lenato's son. His pride and his wishes are my inheritance. Those are what I should protect. I see. Ash, you will be an excellent I agree. knight. It's too early to say that. But I'm willing to learn if you'll teach me. It would be my pleasure to oversee the training of a new generation. Oh yay! Gilbert, you are Flame. Hey there, Flame. I thought I'd drop by. 
by and see if you'd care for a... Now, just a moment, Sylvain. If you must speak with me, I implore you to do so from where you stand. My apologies if this comes across as rude, but please do not come any closer to me. Excuse me? I am sorry. My brother has explicitly warned me not to go near you. Seth said that? I bet he also told you any woman who comes too close to me is... How does he say it? Doomed to misfortune? He used those very words! Is it true, ah! then? Come on. He's just messing with you, obviously. Of course I would prefer to believe that. But one can never know for certain. Particularly when similar stories are constantly in circulation about you. I have heard that men and women alike have been seduced by your nefarious ways. I hate to suggest my talents are being oversold, but... I have heard that you toy with people's emotions, like a cat toys with its prey. Do I really look like such a villain to you? Well, perhaps not. You do not strike me as much of a charmer. When you put it like that, I feel like I should defend... Yeah, forget it. Let's get to the actual point. Did I not tell you, Sylvain? Stay away from me. It's kind of awkward talking from so far away. Can I please step just a little... can't be mad about that. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Your face looks stiff as ever, Gilbert. As I said before, I cannot change my nature. Understood. And I suppose seeing you train with an expression of glee would be rather unsettling. Still, you finished for the day, yes? Would you join me for tea and perhaps a chat? Professor Hanneman, may I ask a question first? Certainly. Ask away. I'll answer whatever is within my power to do so. Why concern yourself with me? I have no crests. I'm of no particular use to you. Whatever are you talking about? I don't speak to you out of some ulterior motive. Certainly, I have previously approached others because of my research interests. That is not the case here. I merely wish to get to know you. You wish to know me? Yes. It is not often I have the opportunity to find friends my own age, you see. Well, regardless of how you feel, speaking for myself, I already consider you something of a friend. You must have heard of my tenacity. It will prove easier if you accept my offer of friendship now. <laughs> Was that a laugh? A rarity for you, Gilbert. Can I take that to mean we are friends indeed? Uh, well, I am honored. Then, as a first step, I would like it if we could find a common interest. A hobby to engage in. Something the younger folk would not appreciate, and may even be irritated by. <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> Another laugh. I must say, we make a better duo than I first expected. Hmm. Interesting. It seems I'm not the only one here. Manuela? Oh, Sedith. Hello. This is quite the surprise. Praying? No, no, I was just my bad. resting. Guys, I dropped my remote. Whenever I'm in the infirmary, I simply cannot get out of doing work. I need a place to sit and close my eyes. There is no need to hide it. It is obvious you were praying quite solemnly just now. No, I was... Oh, I was just enjoying some old memories. That's all. In fact, 
I was just thinking about when my parents first brought me here as a child. I wandered off from my parents because I heard a beautiful voice. It was a woman, singing, somewhere just out of sight. I began to sing along, hoping she would hear me and that we might meet. I never found her, whoever she was. Yet, it was she who taught me I could sing. Interesting. Hmm. I'd never heard that. But I suppose if you were only a child, this would be before I arrived at Garrig Mach. In any case, if that singing voice helped you find your way, then that is a wonderful thing. I've never told anyone else, but I believe it was the goddess I heard. And that day, she gifted me my singing voice. And I thank the goddess for leading me back here after I left the opera company. You know, when you speak of the goddess in this way, it is as though you are an entirely different person. If you were to behave that way more in your daily life, I would have a much higher opinion of you. Oh, that's very sweet, coming from you, Sede. Should I take that to mean that you like your ladies pious and respectable? One little compliment and you completely lose control of yourself. What am I to do with you? Oh, it's a joke. Look, I'm just no good at serious conversations. Although, I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested in knowing what kind of woman does get your attention. As thanks for the touching tale you have shared, I will satisfy your curiosity just this once. My preferred woman is kind, quiet, and proper. But above all else, she is straightforward and honest. Quiet? Proper? There's no need to be cruel, Sede. <laughs> You keep doing things that aren't called for. It's driving me batty. You presuppose I am only thinking of you. Oh, let's just not do this, shall we? I don't know why we always end up fighting. It can hardly be helped. You and I seem opposed to one another on a, let's call it an instinctual level. <laughs> Perhaps this could even be considered a form of fate. <laughs> What an awkward fate to have. I'd like you a lot more if I just hated you. All this fighting and making up is just exhausting. Agreed, yes. It does feel as if we have fallen into a rather tiresome bit of repetition. What a waste of effort. We're absolutely hopeless, the both of us. Hmm. Here's a thought. Couples who are similar to one another share the same views and all that. They're pretty successful, but complete opposites work together too. Surprisingly well, sometimes. They compensate for each other's weaknesses, and they support one another. Then I look at how hard we work just to avoid screaming at each other, and I don't buy it. Hmm. Don't be so hasty to dismiss your own hypothesis. For instance, I am apt at cleaning, but have no talent for cookery. Whilst you loathe cleaning, but are a splendid chef. Would it not be an easier life if, rather than struggle through our weaker areas, we divided the work? Huh. I suppose our differences do have their advantages that way. Indeed. If we combine our abilities, housework would be conquered and dinner rendered delicious. There are other ways we could find to support one another, I would imagine. We might make a better pair than you think. You and I, together. Ah, huh. you might be onto something. You and I could be pretty good together. Wait, why are we talking about this? Are you trying to propose marriage with promises of clean floors? You think I'm that easy of a Oh, catch? God. Honestly. I... I did no such thing. You were the one who started discussion on the topic in the first place. Oh, you would agree so this with is me. my fault If you now? have objections, oh, I never said much. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Seda. I've been meaning to ask you. What is your relationship with Lady Rhea? That is certainly an abrupt question. You're much closer to her than anyone else in the entire church. Certainly, you're a good, upstanding person, but 
but I can't help but feel there's something more to it. Supporting the Archbishop is my sole professional interest. Personally, I consider her to be something akin to a companion. A companion? Yes, as in a traveling companion. Friends who walk the same path toward the same destination. Hmm, companion, huh? A companion. I guess that does sound about right, now that you say it. Though, I'll confess to being quite jealous. Not many people can call themselves companions of Lady Rhea. I do not know how she feels about it. Oh, come on. You must trust that she feels the same about you. There is no need for that sort of trust. My duties are the same regardless of her perspective. I consider you to be a companion also. A companion in fighting for the Archbishop? Certainly. Our goals are firmly aligned when it comes to that, are they not? You're right. They are. I suppose you and I could be considered companions in that sense. <laughs> I am pleased to hear my sentiment reciprocated. I rely on you a great deal, after all. More than most. Whoa there, what's all this now? Flattery won't win you any prizes with me, Sedith. I do not flatter. I merely want you to understand why it matters to me that you be more cautious in battle. As your companion, it is my wish for you to be safe. Oh good, we're back in familiar territory. With you admonishing me. Don't worry, I'll be careful. I'll always try to live up to your expectations. So don't expect too much or you'll wear me out. <laughs> Okay. okay. Who needs support? Ash and Ingrid and Ash and Catherine. Who does Manuela need? Well...
It's been 10 years. Can I move on yet? Ugh, never mind. I know what you'd say. Were you talking to someone? In a sense, someone who's long since passed. Another mercenary I fought alongside. They were killed 10 years ago when Dagda was in conflict with the Empire. It's all I can focus on lately. Why do you think that is? To be honest, I blame you. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know it's not your fault. You just remind me of him. You give off a similar air. It's uncanny. You even have the same inflection, which makes no sense because we only ever spoke Dagden. I don't know what it is, but you feel the same to me. I guess you just remind me of the past. I'm sorry. Please, it's not your fault. It's my fault for getting caught up in memories. Still, you always remember your first love, right? That's enough of that. There are more relevant topics to discuss. I suppose. There's no point in dwelling on the past. Let's talk about the future. Your next move seems apparent. But who knows where I'll end up. Though I may have done enough traveling for one lifetime. I like the idea of having a permanent home. And after all my time here, I've grown quite fond of Fodlan. Anyway, the area if I that's a, I don't I have some. Let me consider how the meal tastes. Training. Professor. No. Thank you. 
Look at our excellent... I'll do my best with that. Perhaps I'll expect... I've learned a thing or two from battle. We shall rest. There we go. A scout has returned. As expected, there are quite a few Imperial soldiers stationed there. I see. So the enemy has prepared for our arrival. It matters not. I will kill them all, whether they are one or one hundred. That's not necessary. What would you do if you saw the people who stole everything from you? If you saw them right before your eyes, living carefree lives and feeling no guilt? Would you feel nothing? Do nothing? Five years ago, did you not deem the woman who killed Gerald to be unforgivable? I am most certain that you did. You couldn't let her get away with her crime, so you took up your sword in pursuit. You're right. Precisely my point. We're the same, you and I. You're wasting your time. There's nothing to be gained from exchanging words with a boar that has lost its mind. Felix? This is war. Every last one of us has lost someone we care for. But we all choose to suppress our anger and grief and go right on living. Do you know why? Because it's pointless. That's right. All the boar is accomplishing is stacking up more corpses. Tell me, Felix. If the dead are beyond reach, is it not also pointless to mourn, or even bury those who are lost? <laughs> that mind of yours. I'm done here. Remember, Professor, it's not compassion for this fool that has brought our army so far. There are those of us who despise the Empire, and those who side with the Church. If we keep running down this path, it's only a matter of time before the ground beneath us collapses. That's enough, Felix. You're a damned fool, old man. The soldiers are ready to march on your command. Then let's move out at once. Every moment counts. Understood. Let's show those Empire dastards the power of the Knights of Fargus. Oh, we'll see. Here we go. Let's go. The Great Bridge Coup. After fending off the Empire, forces decide it's time to advance. But first, you must capture the Bridge of Meridian, a strategic crossing port over the Aramid River, which borders the Alliance and the Empire. Here we go again. Intent on the Imperial Capital, the Kingdom Army goes around the Agma Mountains and marches through Alliance territory as they continue south. But this route takes them through the territory of House Gloucester, Imperial supporters, so they request help from Claude, the leader of House Regan.
Claude agrees to distract House Gloucester's soldiers, and the Kingdom Army marches onward toward the Great Bridge of Murden to cross the Aramid River, which separates the Alliance and the Empire. <laughs> the bridge bridge coup dun, 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 dun. ah well, this lava Pretty bad. This will be an interesting battle. Fight. That symbol. It's an enemy raid. Stay calm and face them head on. Send a messenger to Acheron immediately. If we're quick, we might be able to pull off a pincer attack. Edelgard's dog, huh? All the more reason to kill her. Attack Ladislava and take the bridge. Shall we begin? I'll comply. What's my strategy? I'd be honored. Yeah! <laughs> What's the plan? I'll cut through. My orders? Ready when you are. At your service. I'll crush them all. I'm your girl. Ooh, Dimitri. of doubt long ago. You think we'll let you take this bridge from us? This is no good. Reinforcements keep coming, and more will soon join them. <gasps> to do Your Highness, apologies for the late arrival. To do You're alive! How? We can discuss it later. For now, allow me to join the Let's deal with the enemies protecting the fortress quickly and take control of this area. Enemies approaching. Get the soldiers standing by to join the fight. We may need to hurry up preparations of the ballista too. Protect the fortress. Let's 
let's get things rolling. Impressive. to make my name known to Her Majesty through distinguished service. Acheron, a minor lord of the Alliance territory. If he's fighting for the Empire, we've no choice but to attack him. Next oh. time. Eventually, I too will fall. Leave my thoughts! Yeah! Alright, next. You make me feel safe. They say if you can't beat them, join them. I'm not in for a beating, am I? I never should have allied with the Empire. The do back in action. I wield this power for his high. Reassuring. Come <laughs> on. 
Thanks. Thought well. Always depend on you. Slapper, no! I will protect this area. I, Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, have arrived to join the battle in my father's stead. Is that the professor? Why would someone like that join such a senseless fight? Lawrence, here you are. I am heading south, so I will leave this area to you. Thank you. 
But if I die, please protect this area. It's a farce, all of it. Hmm. Embracing death for the sake of that woman. Truly foolish. What troubles you? I... I don't know. Do you regret killing them? They were just beasts with human faces. I had no choice but to kill them, and so I did. That... That is all there is to it. It's about time you two returned. We must discuss our next course of action. Please, I need to join you no matter the cost. I'm sorry, but my hands are tied. By the goddess, what's with all the commotion? <coughs> what is this girl doing here? This is an army, not an orphanage. I believe she's from a nearby village. She keeps insisting that she needs to join our ranks. And you thought 
we could use a child on the front lines. Hurry up and take her back to her parents. My family is gone. I don't have anywhere else to go. Please. I can use magic and I can fight. I can cook, do laundry, anything. I'm sure there are plenty of more suitable places to find work. Why are you so fixated on this army, young lady? I need to get revenge. I must strike down the one who murdered my big brother. Your Highness, what should we do? Let her do as she pleases. Thank you. Very much. Traitor in our mist. Traitor in our mist. We got a traitor in our mist that's not very good. Gonna kill us. She's gonna kill us. Next time. Part 2. Azure Moon. Great Tree Moon. Blood of the Eagle and Lion. Now in control of the Great Bridge of Murden, the Kingdom Army begins to invade Imperial territory. In response, the Imperial Army garrisons soldiers at Fort Mercius. Next time. We have received a report from our spy. It would seem the Empire is gathering troops at Fort Mercius. This is undoubtedly in response to us taking the Great Bridge of Merton. Their numbers are more than double ours. We believe that the Emperor herself may be leading them. <gasps> if House Regan can reconcile with House Gloucester sooner than later, then Claude can proceed with his plan to rally the Alliance Lords, gather troops, and invade Empire territory. At this rate, three military forces will be clashing at Grander Field. Just like the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. If you wish to indulge in nostalgia, do it elsewhere. I'm afraid the difference in military strength is far from negligible. While we are elite soldiers, I am still uneasy about this. If possible, I'd like to request reinforcements right away. If we can rely on any of the major kingdom houses for military support, it would be House Karen, I'd wager. Why them? House Karen has yet to declare fealty to the Empire. It is also my home. I will make the request to my father. If things as they are, I don't think he can refuse. The Church has long protected me. I am certain that any request from the Church will be answered to the utmost of their ability. Very well. We're counting on you, Catherine. I suppose that is all we can do for now. So it would seem. Though if there are any other avenues worth exploring, I would suggest... Allying with the Alliance? Ah, good point. We have no reason to engage the Alliance directly. Even if we do receive Count Karen's aid, we still won't have the troops we need to face the Empire. But if we join forces with the Alliance, then our numbers will rival the Empire's. Let's join forces. Agreed. It's about the only thing we can do. For now, let's send a messenger and try to figure out what the Alliance hopes to achieve. It's hard to believe this decisive battle will take place at Grander Field. I imagine that place is full of memories for all of you. We won the Battle of the Eagle and Lion back in the day. It seems like a lifetime ago. I can't help but remember, even though I wish I didn't. Our feast after the battle. I remember it well. We all had so much fun together. No! Please, stop it. They have finally put all of that out of my mind. This isn't right. They're our friends. We used to study together. We shouldn't be fighting them. Why not march up to Her Majesty and remind her of that? Oh, that's right. Because you want to live to see tomorrow. No matter who the enemy is, I will fight for His Highness. Tell me, poor Prince. Do we stand a chance? Who knows? If we lose, we'll have died for you. I hope you know that. That's enough, Felix. 
We must focus on the battle ahead. Make your peace before we depart. It's kill or be killed out there. We will cross blades with the Empire, but it's possible we will also have to strike down the Alliance. Your Highness, do you feel no hesitation about killing your former friends? I'm used to killing familiar faces by now. Oof. How sad. Oh, to do my buddy. It's been a long time. Here for the flowers again. <laughs> That's right. I see. Not to worry. Then show that with your actions. We cannot afford to lose an invaluable asset like you. And... And? This greenhouse would be a more lonely place without you in it. It would not be fair to the flowers to leave me their only caretaker. Someday, I hope to show you a whole landscape of these flowers in full bloom. You mean, Dusker? Yes. Once this conflict is over, and His Highness ascends the throne, I believe it can be done. You must live at least until then. Understood? Understood. I had not thought much of my own life until now, except that I would gladly cast it aside for His Highness. That is still true, but now I desire to see the end of this war. Until I can show you the fields of Dusker and Bloom, I will go on living. Aww. And next time, guys. We have to do back and we're gonna Dude, I'm so happy you're back. Yay. Alright guys. That was a lot of fun. Um we're in month four of the Great Tree Moon. Got a lot to do. Should be very exciting. Catch you next time for part 16 of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Stay tuned every Friday at 10 a.m. That's when excuse me, that's when the next part of Fire Emblem comes out. Will we be able to defeat the Emperor herself? Come back next week and see if we can. Catch you later, guys. Bye!